risk disclaimer. Hello, my friend. Yeah, this is Emmanuel Adigbola, aka the Forex Apostle. I want to welcome you to today's video. I um, mean, it's been an awesome, awesome Wednesday morning. And of course, with all the news uh, coming up, and we are still expecting one by 1 p.m., you know. Uh, let me see what's going on over here. Okay, as you can see, it's been a very, very you know, busy day for USDPS. Uh, let me change this. It's been a very, very busy day. So the seven thirty a.m. I mean, <laughs> it has been a whipsaw day, like up and down, up and down, especially for most uh, currencies, even USD. Uh, but we still make a great, pretty much uh, uh, this morning. Uh, let me check uh, my phone. Yeah, one thousand three hundred and twenty-three dollars. Not bad for this money trade, and we are still expecting. Anyway, we are still expecting the uh, the one p.m. Central Time, the FOMC uh, economic projection, and of course the statement. So this one p.m. Central Time, this will be two p.m. Eastern Time, and if you are in Nigeria, this will be your 7 p.m. So by that time, if you are watching this video right now that you are at work, you must have gone back home and uh, try to, you know, if you love trading the news, this would be a very good uh, trade, okay? Anyway, just to throw that out there. Once again, my name is Emmanuel Adegola and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be looking into Forex trading cheat sheet with Tradematics, okay. Uh, many people have been asking me, so what are the things would they need to look into while using Tradematics? How do you know it is time for you to buy? How do you know it is time for you to sell? And uh, all of this we go look into in this video. However, if this is the first time you are visiting our channel, uh, do us some favor, okay? Hit the button below this video, subscribe to this channel, show us some love, like this video, leave your comment, and share this video on your Facebook page, on your Facebook profile. And uh, of course, for me to know that you did that, send me an email to info at tradematic.net. By doing that, you will have a chance to join the pool to win our palliative cash gift. We are doing this now for 20 weeks. And of course, every week we're going to be picking a winner. And the winner wins 7,500 naira cash gift if you are from Nigeria and if you are from a country outside of Nigeria, you will get the equivalent in your own currency or in US dollars or Bitcoin. Okay, so thank you so much. Let me give you five seconds to do that before we continue today's video. All right, so welcome back. So how do you know when to buy or when to sell, especially when you are using a Tradermatic system? You know, by now you know that uh, I'm a technical indicator trader. And uh, of course, I developed my own system, which my students and uh, of course, some uh, happy buyers are using. Now, uh, because I ate all the, you know, the structures that has to do with a uh, regular candlestick, you know, uh, double bottom, double L, double L, head, head and shoulder, up and all those it drives me crazy. I'm a visual, uh, visual person, and I love, you know, I love colors. You know, I like to see, you know, colors, and it makes it easy for me. Even my six-year-old kids, you know, could easily just grasp this. Okay, okay. Once you see blue arrow, and this blue arrow closes, go long. Once you see red arrow and the red arrow closes go short it's as simple as that so now how do you know when to buy and when to sell so if you are uh, you want to buy number one your price must be above this filter line we call this one the filter line okay it's uh it's our 50 ema okay 
so the price must be above this that's number one this akinashi candle okay must be bullish okay this is how you know when to go long okay when to go long so the prices above the box also is bullish okay you see the box is bullish our trend line is bullish okay so the trend line is bullish macd pro right here as you can see is bullish and the stochastic also is bullish that is trending up above 20 and uh, of course less than airy line so by having that one you know okay the situation and the condition is okay for you to go long you have the market you have the setup for example in this situation here macd is going up as you can see macd pro uh stochastic is going up as you can see it's above 20 uh the price is above the 50 ema the candle here is bullish this is swing trading and of course this trade now has been off for like uh, nine days and you can see the profit so far right here this is a one thousand dollars so far okay so and the trend the trade is still going this was where we have our stop loss initially then later we move it to even break even we move it over here right now this is where our stop loss is so even if this trade should go against me of course i have nothing to lose and this is where we are still going okay because all you have to do is look into your left and the, the very first if you are if you are going bullish the very first bullish box you see use that as your take profit if you are going short for example let's assume we go short here the very first bearish we see will be my take profit it's as simple as that so that is the condition for going long so let's look into condition of going short how do you know when to go short with tradermatic number one the price must be below okay the price must be below our filter line this is the filter line let's change this uh to this so the price must be below you know the price must be below that's number one number two the box must be what bearish price i mean the our ignition can do must be what must be bearish and the, of course the macd pro must be below the zero line or bearish also as you can see is bearish that is going down and uh, of course stochastic must be above okay this trend actually started from here so must be below airy and uh, of course above 20. so you can see stochastic also is bearish okay you see right there so stochastic must be bearish macd pro must be bearish as you can see and the, of course the trend line must be bearish as you can see then the price must be below this so once you have that and you have the setup then you know it is time for you to go short it's as simple as that and to make it actually easy for you the arrow tells you what to do you see the arrow once the arrow closes it is time to go long and uh, if it is time for you to go short once the arrow closes like this it is time for you to go short it's as simple as that okay okay my friends so once again i want to thank you for watching this video it's a very short video and i hope you just get the nugget especially if you are one of our um, tradermatic users and if you are looking also to get tradermatic the link should be below this video check it out and uh, come on i will look forward to get your testimonial also have a blessed day Thank you.